Candace Owens is back at it again, going as far as possible in order to keep right-wingers uh, happy and watching her show. She feels the need to, to consistently go above and beyond in her rhetoric as a branding exercise. Um, and in this instance, though, she takes a standard Republican talking point about George Soros, who has donated money to a group called Color of Change, which has spent ads and done ads on behalf of progressive DA uh, candidates throughout the country, including Alvin Bragg. This is why you hear Soros-funded prosecutor going after Trump, Soros-funded prosecutor going after Trump. At the root of that conspiracy is that really what they believe these people are not sophisticated, you know, black people, progressives, not sophisticated enough. So the Jews are really controlling the scenes, uh, the string, or pulling the strings, controlling things behind the scenes and using these useful idiots as their puppets. That really is the implication of the conspiracy theory. But Candace Owens goes further. And I'm just going to add some context that George Soros... By the way, oh, oh, I'm just going to add some context that George Soros and his family, or I, they were victims of the Holocaust. <laughs> okay? I will also say that I am against the amount of money that are in politics, but I don't focus on one guy as the big boogeyman. And there's a reason that the right only focuses on one guy. But here you go. I have this theory, and, and just looking at everything that he's done, it, it seems very bizarre that he has such hatred for mm -hmm. really the people that liberated him, right? <laughs> if if yeah. he believed that the Nazis were so backwards and were so awful, how could he then spend his life having such contempt for Americans? Why would mm -hmm. he be trying to foster the end of mm -hmm. America? Why would he be wanting the cities yeah. to be crime-filled and releasing criminals onto the street via his district attorneys. It doesn't make sense. And so I said to myself, is it plausible? Can you pause it? That All right. You know why it doesn't make sense, Candace? Is because he's not trying to bring about the destruction of America. I kind of just answered that for you. So this, she starts with a pretty offensive premise, honestly. Look, I'm as against money in politics as anybody. George Soros' influence and other the hundreds and thousands of mega donors and their influence on politics is one that should be completely eliminated. I don't like it. I mean, do I like George Soros more than I like the Koch brothers or the Mercers? Yes. You know why? Soros plant, Soros plant, Soros plant, Soros plant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Clip this right now. <laughs> <laughs> do I like George Soros? <laughs> I'm uh, let me think about that. Like, do I, would I rather have a billionaire donate to Color of Change, which is what they're referring to, a progressive organization that helps DAs get elected, including Alvin Bragg. They do independent expenditures, run ads for him, and Soros is one of their donors. Do I prefer that to, uh, you know, the Mercers and Peter Thiel and the ghouls that they back, like Ted Cruz or Blake Masters or J.D. Vance? You effing bet I do, because... I one side is better for the country, but in an ideal world, would these mega donors be, have the capacity to do this legally? Absolutely not. The problem is, is that right wingers don't have systemic critiques for ev for anything, so they just boogeyman particular billionaires because they're not anti capitalists; they're free market fundamentalists. We want to remove billionaire influence from politics. She singles out this one who is the substitute for the Jews generally. Yeah. That's the subtext. Yeah, it's no big deal when the Kochs do it or the Mercers do it or when Sheldon Adelson was alive, he did it. That's, there's no problem. There's no issue with that. There's no concern about like the far-reaching uh, you know, uh, influence on politics in that regard. No, it's just this George one Soros. guy who's trying to destroy America. And like these are the anti-cancel culture guys. And yet, they are trying to make Soros' project, which is just like a standard Democratic donor project, into a destruction of America thing. Are you, aren't you trying to cancel his point of view? Why can't you, pers what, if you're pro billionaires donating to politicians, you should see this as a battle of billionaire That's ideas. Right. Doesn't make him any less American than Who anybody. Wins? Who wins in the marketplace? Exactly. Unfortunately, the right will always win because there will always be more money. But for the sake of their stupid argument, 
This should be a, a, a battle of ideas, and yet one of them wants to destroy America. Why do you want to cancel George Soros? Why do you want to cancel George Soros, uh, Candace Owens? Here we go. Oh. How could he then spend his life having such contempt for Americans? Why would he be trying to foster the end of America? Why would he be wanting the cities to be crime filled and releasing criminals onto the street via his district attorneys? It doesn't make sense. And so I said to myself, is it plausible that he was actually sympathetic to the Nazis because he was taken care of and he was protected and maybe he saw them through a different vein. I mean, your childhood, anybody's childhood has a very serious impact on their on their lives. The way that you think it's very difficult to get over the lessons that you learn from your childhood. And I'm wondering if he came out of that and was at all sympathetic to the Jewish people or if he was more sympathetic to people that took care of him throughout that uh, horrible tragedy of the Nazis occupying Hungary. Yeah, I mean, that's actually one of the things I get asked a lot is like, what motivates this guy? Because we can, you know, the defund the police, the rogue prosecutors, it's a controlled experiment in a certain type of political policy, and it is unquestionably a failure. So it's like, well, Soros is a data-driven guy, his background's in finance, he's made billions of all people, he's probably better at analyzing data than I am, So, which means he knows the truth. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the Occam's razor answer is the simplest one, which is he's just an evil guy. And what the exact you know reason was, we, we don't exactly know, but. Yeah, uh, the, the reason is that he has more money than God and he can. Um... He can spend it as he wants. It's a controlled experiment in uh, uh, political expenditures that happen literally every day in all races across the country where, with uh, money uh, influencing elections and influencing voters. That happens in every single race. <laughs> that, the, that I would say probably the Koch brothers almost kind of uh, originated that, that kind of flooding the zone of down to the uh, flooding the zone in local races down to the dog catcher to make sure that, um, you know, conservative ideals went out all over the place. Yeah, that's actually a pretty normal thing that goes on, but also they seem to really like the idea of um, just excluding the other aspect of the electoral process, which is um, people voting these guys into yeah. office, uh, voters going out and supporting these candidates. Um, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember the constitutional amendment that passed where George Soros can appoint district attorneys by judicial fiat. Uh, I, I didn't see that either. I sent you another clip. Just pull that up if you could, Bradley, because. It's pretty rich for her to be making these claims just months on the heels of her defending Kanye, who said, I love Hitler over and over and over again on Alex Jones program. The claim that that Soros has Stockholm syndrome from Nazi uh, Nazi rule is pretty like just, I mean, incredibly offensive, incredibly offensive. And I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin with that. I don't even know where to begin with that, except to show you that there's really only one person that we've spoken about in this segment that has a view of Nazis that's a little bit too cozy for my liking. And that's Candace Owens. This is a clip of her from 2019, 2018. Bradley's pulling it up right now. Um, where she spoke about Hitler and Nazi rule. Let's hear what she has to say, Candace Owens. This is a classic. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist, but if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German, everybody to look a different way. That's not, to me, that's not nationalism. Um, so in thinking about how we could go bad down the line, I don't really, I don't really have an issue with nationalism. I really don't. I think that it's okay. It's important to retain your, your country's identity and to make sure um, that what's happening here, which I think is incredibly worrisome in terms of the, just the, the decrease in the birth rate that we're seeing um, in the UK, is what you kind of want to avoid. So I'm not, I don't have anything problem. I have no problems with nationalism. It's globalism that I try to avoid. So Hitler was bad only because he invaded other parts of Europe. Uh, he had he, if the not if Nazism just stayed right inside Germany's borders, it would have been totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Totally fine. But when you go across into Poland, oh. if you if you try to find Soros, 
That's when it gets bad. Yeah, in Hungary. Where yeah, you go to that. Hungary and you, and you get... Then you wouldn't have had that Stockholm Syndrome if they just kept it tight. Like, they just... Just, just tighten just it up. Press it. Just, just keep it simple. Tighten up the genocide. You just like see, you keep just it see, within your borders. You just see Charlie Kirk's uncomfortable body swaying back and forth. Mm-hmm. All right, Candace, wrap it up. Oh, Give me the mic back. We really like to use her for political yeah. purposes, but when she talks, sometimes she says this, this stuff. We got, we got to reel, reel it in a little bit. I, I, I it, it, yeah. I mean, man, can we play that one more time? <laughs> just one more time for emphasis. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's all right. Just one more time. Cuz I wanted to just catch what she said there. Um kind of halfway through. Here we go. Yeah, I agree. I I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets uh the definition gets poisoned um by elitists that actually want so, globalism. Globalism so is what jacket, I Charlie? what I don't want. So, when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about in at least in America is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist, but if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is is that he wanted he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German, everybody to look a different way. That's not, to me, that's not nationalism. Um, So in thinking about how we could go bad down the line, I don't really, I don't really have an issue with nationalism. I really don't. I think that it's okay. It's important to retain your your country's identity and to make sure um, that what's happening here, which I think is incredibly worrisome in terms of the just the the decrease in the birth rate that we're seeing. Hmm. Um, All right, then we got the picture there. How did Hitler try to keep his national identity uh, in check? I'm trying yeah, to think the, about it a little bit. Yeah. And they love doing national socialist as if the Nazis were not explicitly fascist and incredibly right wing. How, how, and you will look across the country, across different um, governments and different like parliamentary parties will have liberal or socialist in it. And it does not mean that their alignment is on the left. Just an FYI. Um, did Mu- were Mussolini and Francisco Franco were they like super nice about their nationalism? Well, it's fine because they kept it within. Yeah, their did borders. they like just keep it within Italy, keep it within <laughs> Spain? Was that? I feel like that was just super chill once they did that. Yeah, everything went fine then. There I was mean, no, you know, just widespread murder of communists, uh, uh, quashing of dissent, uh, uh, for suppression of free speech. I think it was mostly just like we're Italian and we're going to stay in Italy and just like. And she could have Italian. really come up with any other example of nationalism and like a right wing leader, but she chose to go with the nationalist Hitler who also was an expansionist and trying to bring like and did mass extermination to the continent of Europe, which is exactly, you know, I think, frankly, the point that she stumbled into is that the only the only problem they had with Hitler was that he just did not keep it within his borders. They can't square that that is completely ahistorical in the sense of like, you can't square the fact that Hitler identified as a national socialist and his entire project was exporting everything that he was doing in terms of the eliminationism of, of murdering all Jews and marginalized people, as well as wanting to export it and take over Europe yeah. and, and, and more by exporting his ideology and his practices onto everywhere else. Like... This you can't make this argument because it doesn't exist. Yeah, elimination. Hitler was a national socialist, and it, it, the campaign he wanted to make was the one he actually fucking did. Yeah, it, like, <laughs> like there, he, he, there was no, there was no, no one. Goering wasn't, or 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 Himmler wasn't going to Hitler and being like, you know what, Adolf, I think we gotta think a little smaller yeah eliminationism is not a small scale problem. i think we stick to germans stick to german jews when we we term when we exterminate them that's it we don't go further that whole thing about jews being an existential threat to the world i mean then it's not that existential let's change world to just germany yeah a little edit and i think honestly you have some whiteout i don't think fdr will care that much (laughs) which worked for a few years until you know the national socialism decided to go east a little bit. She's a horrible person. A very, very horrible and person. And stupid. That too. You're stupid and horrible. Candace. Another, another pundit that I just would completely destroy in a debate. Once I get on that, that's, that's my, that's my next goal. I gotta mm-hmm. get in that circuit. Become a debate lord. A little bit. Yeah. I feel like that's where the, 
like the 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 ability for me to like kind of get get bigger is you know career wise. Well, I got to get some of these. I got like, to get Barry Weiss or Candace Owens to agree to talk to me, and then yeah. What we need to do is we need to do it'll, it'll, it won't go well. What we need to do is we need to do a um, either Barry Weiss or Candace Owens v Emma debate. <laughs> then we do a react to the debate. Then we react like Hassan reacting to the debate. Mm-hmm. And then we react like Destiny reacting to Hassan reacting to the debate. There we go. And just become a Russian doll of React videos. And I think we'll probably make around $600,000 each. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, yes. <laughs> I, think, I think that's just the business model going forward. <laughs> well, was I like, how much? I mean, let's, let's, we'll make the four or five times yeah, our yeah, actual that, that's y- like, annual salary. That's just I on think, that one thing. That's, I think, what it is. That's, I think, where we go next. Amazing.